was watching the Eagles game this weekend, and uh, here's a guy in the crowd. You know, people get all ready for the games. They, um, <laughs> there's that guy right there. He has the Philly fanatic tattooed on his belly. He's pointing to it. We see it. We see it. <laughs> How do we unsee it? That's the question. And I didn't know which segment to put this in. It could be why I don't have a husband. It could be, oh, straight people. I didn't know which segment. But I finally landed on bad paid for tattoos. Sarah Murphy in Kansas City said a friend posted this tattoo on Instagram. I'm not sure if it's spelled wrong or if this is what they were going for. Hail Satin. <laughs> Hail Satin. <laughs> It doesn't say Satan, but I think Satan had something to do with that tattoo. <laughs> Ellen, you're my hero. So I got a huge tattoo of you on my arm. <laughs> Mary in Phoenix. <laughs> I have no words for that one. Mary, in Phoenix, Arizona, I got this tattoo when I was 16. I wasn't thinking, and now my kids ask me, what's that thing on your back? It says, Thug Life. <laughs> yeah, she grew up on the rough streets of Candyland. <laughs> Roger in Tallahassee, Florida. Ellen, I saw this uh, tattoo and had to send a picture to you. Brenda. Brenda, if you're watching, please let us know you're safe. <laughs> I worry for Brenda. Tattoo sh artists really should be cut off like, like a bartender. They says, that's enough. You've had, go home. <laughs> if you see a bad paid for tattoo, please uh, see it, uh, send it to me when you see it. See it, then send it to me. <laughs> Send it to me and then see it. Whichever one you want to do first. We'll be right back.